are vlogging today. I wasn't even planning on it, but we're going to the house and I wanna show you all the progress that we have made so far because just last week our house was a slab with some framing done and now we have somewhat of a roof. We have some windows and you can start to see the rooms kind of develop. So I definitely wanna document this and show you all what that's looking like, give you the rundown of what kind of rooms are gonna be in our house, how we're envisioning things. So yeah, that's what we're doing. But first we are stopping by a coffee shop that we love. Andrew is in there getting me a matcha with a gluten-free muffin. He's back! With a Franky hot matcha. Matcha latte with Franks. Now Milk Franks is a local nut milk brand that is delish. And you get the muffin? Do they have it? I wasn't sure if they'd have it. I also got the classic poppy loaf. <gasps> Oh, wait, poppy, lemon loaf, wait, whatever. they didn't have that, they got rid of it, and now it's back? It looks like, it looks a little different. Is it gluten free? Probably not. Okay, so. okay. But it's they're the touching. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to bite in, and I won't eat anymore in the car. Angie won't let me eat in the car, but I'm hungry. Is it crummy? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good! Mmm. <laughs> she really is crying. <laughs> okay, we made it to our house. We just jammed out to the entire Black Parade album. I'm gonna eat this muffin and then I will show you around. I think I see an issue. Really? An issue? Yeah, there's no door on the side of the garage. Uh, oh my god. I'll take a picture and tell, tell her around. Oh, I'm like shaking, it's so cold. So I need y'all's opinion. There's this section right here where some people would put, it's considered like a formal dining room, but we're not gonna have two dining rooms. We're not gonna have a formal dining room and then a kitchen table over here. We're gonna forgo the formal dining room. So I don't know what to put there. Maybe it's a reading nook, a yoga area, but we want it to be tidy and still look nice because it's the entry to the home. It's one of the first things people see. So if you have any ideas on what you would put there, an alternative to a formal dining space, let me know. For my office, I'm really excited because we're gonna install big glass, I think they're gonna be steel doors. I'm looking at a couple different glass vendors, but essentially it's gonna be completely glass so that way a lot of light can come in. And then for privacy, I'm gonna install um, some curtains where I can just roll the curtains open and close when I don't want to see people here eating their lunch. And I'm trying to figure out if I want an L-shaped desk or what I would do because I don't want to block the window. So there's a lot of question marks in my head about what we'll do. So I think I really need to hire a, an interior designer for at least two or three of the rooms. I feel like now I need to start thinking about these things because it's starting to shape up and become a house and a lot of furniture is on back order for like six months so i might want to order things sooner rather than later oh it's cold in here i love sleeping with our dogs but clover's hair clover's hair is everywhere and i can never have white sheets because of her i still do it but i just have to wash them more often what about dog bunk beds Luna's on bottom. Luna's on bottom. Clover would straight up jump up the top like a mountain goat. As long as it's fluffy enough. I, they have to exist. Do you think? Yeah. Dog bunk beds exist. I could make that too. I like to make stuff, babe. And yeah. in this corner here, I could see them sleeping here, us sleeping there, 
And then we have our own boundaries, like that's our bed, this is your bed. And then we don't have to vacuum our bed every day. <laughs> and then over here, a little meditation nook, you know. <laughs> Excited. Okay, I didn't believe you, but <gasps> there's a cat in here. <laughs> oh. Hi cat. Where'd it go? He jumped out the back. It's back there. Oh my gosh, but he has a collar. <gasps> He's going hunting. Apparently, a king size bed is 80 inches. So Doesn't that look so short? It's the same depth as a queen size bed, it's just wider. From here to here, up to these uh, triangles on this board, is the king size bed. But it looks so small. I don't want to lay on the ground, but like, I don't believe you. <laughs> Babe. It's you, fine. No, listen, you wouldn't let me eat in the car and now you're willing to lay in sawdust. Well, I'm going to be up for a while, it's going to fall off, but like... That doesn't seem right. There's no way the bed is that short. This does not seem right. Maybe, maybe it's not American. You better dust off. I've already had two splinters this year. I don't want another one. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I've had two splinters this year. Two splinters. And I hadn't had splinters since I was a kid. Pick up a, a, a brand that has mattresses. We're gonna check this. And I see you lying next to me. The words I thought I'd never speak. So a king. Not sponsored. 76 by 80 by 10. Yeah. That just seems like, and we're short people. We're not tall people, but your feet were like so close to the end. I don't understand. It's just how it is. All right. I mean, I'm not mad. Our room now feels bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Can we look up the length of the table that we want? Yeah. <laughs> There is a table that we want from West Elm and I feel like I would have almost bought the wrong size, like the ginormous size. And I wanna make sure that we don't make a mistake and order a enormous table. I'm gonna go to my Notion dock. Go to our Acre Life, Acre House, to do things to buy for the home. This is where I'm keeping track of everything that we need to buy with approximate cost, links, and whether it's high priority, medium priority or low priority. So high priority are things that we wanna do before moving, medium priority are the things after moving, and, and low priority are the things that we will purchase slowly over time. You can filter by the different room, which I love. Okay, so the, the actual table that we want, the Anton 86 inch dining table, we want it in the lighter wood color, Cherust white. Do you want the dimensions? 86.39. Seats up to eight. We're deciding if we want 86 or 120 inches. So 86 inches. Is this, there to there. Oh, I think that's plenty. And then what is that? 120? No. That's too big. Yeah, 120 is definitely out. Oh my God, can you imagine if we accidentally order that? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Cause our friends have the table and they're like, oh, I think we got the biggest one. I'm like, oh great. We like the way, we like the size of the one you have. And turns out it wasn't the biggest one. But I straight up would have been like, add to cart. And then it would have arrived and we would have been like, shh, take it back. Oh, okay. We just finished going through the house. I took some pictures of some questionable things that I wanna ask our builder about to make sure everything is okay before they proceed. And we also think we're missing a door where you can like exit from the garage to go into our backyard. It's kind of a big thing. So it's a big thing, but it's an easy fix at this stage. But glad Andrew caught that. So I am making a grocery list. We're gonna to head to Central Market and I'm looking through my friend Allison's cookbook because she just launched this and I wanna to try to make some recipes from here. So I'm getting some inspo for my grocery list. This is Allison right there. I'm gonna make my grocery list. I need to pick up some mint, Tia's request. I'm gonna get some brown sugar because we're gonna make boba. Get some more tapioca starch. Daily harvest soup because I'm really hungry, but I'm short on time. All I wanna do is watch my kids.
drama But I gotta clean And I gotta eat With water Pour it into a blender I love Daily Harvest, but I wouldn't order this again. It's just butternut squash soup. It's just kind of boring. I added some pepper and spinach, but like, it's not very flavorful. But I love Daily Harvest, I forget what it's called, like Brussels sprouts tahini bowl, and then their gigante bean bowl. Gigante. Gigante, I eat that a lot. is clean and I'm gonna go ahead and start the boba. Yay! Oops. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna lose this apple pencil at some point, but I hope not because it is not cheap. Tapioca pearls. Let's see. Okay, so all we need is Tapioca flour? What's the difference between tapioca flour and tapioca starch? I thought it was tapioca. Okay. I got scared for a second because Andrew literally just went to the store to get tapioca starch, not tapioca flour. Okay, so it's just tapioca starch, brown sugar, and hot water. Anyone else hate reading directions? <laughs> I do. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. So all we need is sugar, boiling water, and tapioca flour, which is the same thing as tapioca starch. <laughs> oh, babe. Huh? Oh, babe. You want about chips? No, I'm really hungry. I can't wait till 8 o'clock to eat dinner. Well, it's not even 8. It's more like 8.30. That's why I'm trying to get food. <laughs> I didn't know that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a chip dip. We have salsa. Huh? We have salsa. No. I'm just, we do have a dip for no. chips. Salsa with potatoes. Oh. That's about. I know what kind of turd you have, unfortunately. I don't know about you, because you never go to the bathroom. That's not true. Girls don't go to the bathroom. It's not true. For one serving. Turn it into a rod. I saw him turn into a rod, and cut it in half, and turn that rod into a smaller rod. Okay. Gonna become a boba pro. I said just to make sure this doesn't dry out. So I'm trying to go fast. Cut it four times. No. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah! Here's our first boba. Oh cute. Okay. It's good. Here we go. Moment of truth. Hopefully they don't stick together. You just stir it Do you turn it down once it's boiling? I, mean, I think you always turn it down a little bit, but they said just mix it up so they don't stick to each other at the bottom. And then put a lid on for 20 minutes. Looks pretty boba-like to me. Looking like boba. It's a little bit jelly-like, our first try. I don't know. Isn't that what boba is like though? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I have no idea. Her first tier, guys. Got no idea. <laughs> I 
and stick the it. The tea, there needs to be more tea. I mean, it's still kind of brewing. Try the bar. Mmm! <laughs> I like it. It's good. Mmm. I want more. That's jelly. Okay, I'm giving you guys these pretty ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shove it in. <laughs> it's okay, Drew. So cheap. It's still kind of hot. Cheers. Mmm, the milk's good. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, where's my boba? There it goes. The boba is really good. I think um, we just need to like have more time mm -hmm. to put the mm -hmm. tea in the fridge. Boba's good. Good morning, it's a new day, it's Monday. I just stopped by my favorite juice spot, Alchemy Juice. They are local to Austin. Just picked up some chaga coffee latte. I picked up some pure greens, some immune boosting sweet greens. These are my juices that'll last me through Thursday. It's Monday, which means it's a potato day, which means I'm dressed in the comfiest outfit ever. This basically feels like a blanket. It's from Oak and Fort. I wish I bought two sets to be honest because I wear it all the time. Okay, I made my matcha. I'm heading up to get some work done and I'm gonna edit this video and hopefully get this one out to y'all soon. Thanks for tuning in for the vlog and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. I read them and I totally add your ideas to my Notion list. So keep them coming.